It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said... It was pride, or something? Your Ma... Was wrong about that. You giving the horse a rest, Pa? Dad, all. <laughs> we ever gonna get to Strawberry going like this? Take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. I, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Enough? For now. Back in Strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. We're stuck. This is awful. You didn't used to drive this slow. Mm -hmm. Quiet. Is that correct? All right. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. I don't want to run into one of them together, brother. Nina. Hi. I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston... Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh... Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. 
Take care now. Give my regards to Geddes. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yep. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed this. of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Boy. But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down... You slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Hee ya! Let's speed this up. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just... Here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Someone take you back! <laughs>
It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. Uh, sir, Hello? are you sure this is the way? You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Can we get home quicker, please? Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Go say hi to your mother. Yeah, it's, I don't, we got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then we... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problems. Weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? OK. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here, sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. 
Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it.
That's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Mm -hmm. Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back.
been living too fast and I've been living too long. Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone. This big old world sure got me running around. I heard a voice that said, just settle down. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with this feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast, and I've been living too wrong. I'm gone Desert roads Desert plains
Excuse Hello, me, sir. Can I, can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton oh, is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs>